this example we will do planometric projection but with round shape first we we'll start with our given dimensions as per usual Drawing circles and planometric, we always start again with the center line. When drawing a circle and planometric from above, due that it is in the plan, the circle can be drawn with a compass. circle is not on the plan, we have some working to do before drawing the actual circle and planometric. Draw at least a quarter of the circle on the side. 
and then with the method of division of a line divide one of the radius into a number of parts the bigger the circle the more parts in order to have a more accurate drawing in this case we divided the radius into five equal parts giving us 10 parts when drawing the entire semicircle. From all the divisions, take the line upwards until they hit the arc. Measure the divisions onto the planometric. And take the lines upright. Measure each vertical line from the working done in the, at the circle. These will give you the points of the planometric circle. All that's left is the freehand. Join the dots. Make sure that when you do the arc, it is in favor of the rotation of your hand in order to get a smoother finish. It is wise that first you do a faint line and then you make the bold line when you're sure of your drawing. 